diving right in today in the studio. Got the uh, pad here. We'll talk about this in a minute. Talking about hip mobility. Hope you're doing well today, everyone. We're going to dive right into the question of the day, actually. I usually save it for the end, but I just I really want to hear your thoughts on your running form, your gait cycle. Question of the day, do you feel that your overall running form is more on the stiff end, a little uh, like tight, or do you feel like you're fluid and that you have good range of motion with your running form, okay? So that's the question of the day, and maybe by the end you will have a little more, a little better concept of what I'm talking about. Hip mobility, it's key for our overall gait cycle and running form. Um, We've talked about, actually we talked about running form maybe 10 days ago. I'll try and link to it at the end of the vlog, where for me, going into Houston, by saying no to the mountains, I do feel like, now I'm gonna give you an update on my neck here in a, in a minute. Um, before yesterday, with my neck issue, I was feeling very, very smooth in my running. I felt like my uh, my foot strike was, was on point, my cadence was increasing. Again, by not getting as much vertical as of late, I do think that I'm getting a little more smooth, really focusing on my arm carriage. Um, so anyway, that is why I want to bring up these hip mobility exercises just to pass them along to you. Uh, there's 10 steps, there's 10 exercises. I'll walk you through all of them, film them for you. And listen, you do not you do not need, if you're like, gosh, yeah, I am really stiff. I do feel like my, my gait cycle is just like kind of choppy or not smooth like David Radisha. If any of us could ever run like uh, David, not not as far as speed is concerned, but just as fluid as he is, oh, it's just so, so beautiful. So that is why, again, we're gonna dive in here. Hip mobility exercise number one is actually, it's not, it's not an exercise at all. It's a warm up. it's the foam roller, but it's key. Before you start doing the hip mobility exercises, which some of them are a little dynamic, meaning there's quite a bit of range of motion, and uh, did I already mention this? My range of motion in my legs, I think is struggles a bit. I'm just gonna say it. I don't think I have a great range of motion at all. Uh, so it's something I'm working on leading into Houston, leading into 2020, as I chase down some faster, uh, faster races like the Brooklyn Half Marathon in 2020 on the road. So foam rolling is first. Make sure you foam roll uh, your upper quads, your glutes. Remember, our glutes are our biggest muscles in our body and just all around those hips, just really trying to warm them up and loosen up those hips. Okay, here we go. Hip mobility exercise number two is the windshield wiper. So I do one set of 20, that's all. All right, here it is on your screen, back and forth. Oh yeah, I should mention, this green pad is amazing. Uh, it's made by Hemingway is the company. And you know, if you have carpet in your house, that'll work as well, but it just takes the edge off of hardwood floors if you have hardwood floors in your house. Ah, oh, I've it's it's a little hard to store in our house, but I'm really, really loving my my green pad for these exercises and for stretching. So back and forth with the windshield wiper. Uh, one set of 20, so it'll be 10 on each side, back and forth, slower is better, and you want to get your knees all the way down to the ground. Now, you might not even be able to do that at the beginning, and it takes a little bit of hand-eye coordination, but over time, you'll get it. Oh, yeah, and I always try and keep my shoulders kind of back and my eyes up, just like I'm in running form, uh, just like I'm in my running form or my running cadence, okay? So there you go. Moving on to hip mobility exercise number three is the windshield wiper with hip hinge, okay? Windshield wiper with hip hinge. And again, one set of 20, so 10, 10 on each side, back and forth, but then you're gonna lift your arm. And so if you're going to the left, you lift your right arm and then catch yourself going down and dip into it. You don't wanna use your lower back as the hinge. You wanna use your hip as the hinge because that's what we're focused on working on, okay? So back and forth. And uh, this one just gets a little deeper um, so the previous two, the foam rolling and the regular windshield wiper is just to warm up for this one, the windshield wiper with hip hinge. So hopefully that one makes sense looking at it on the screen there for you. Moving on to hip mobility exercise number four is the clamshell. Just like a clam, opening and closing, opening and closing, nice and slow. And over time, as your hips begin to get stronger and more mobile, you can add a resistance band to this one. And I didn't use them today, but they're really actually pretty affordable, about $10. 
um, just to again give you a little resistance through this clamshell motion and I do one set of 10 on each side so I guess it'd be 20, 20 total for the clamshells but then I go right into my back and I do the butterfly so this is the butterfly on your screen one set of 10 this is number five the butterfly and it's just it gets a little different uh, motion and stretch through your groin through your hip through the outside of your hips oh love the butterfly it actually it feels really good and my right hip as you know has been a little tight as of late so this butterfly is really really helping okay moving on hip mobility exercise number six a lot of you have probably already done this hip bridges okay so your legs are out in front then you bend your knees okay and then your your shoulders are going to kind of carry a lot of the weight and i like to keep my arms crossed ac uh, across my chest but if you need a little more stability you can put your arms on either side of you on the ground and then you bring your hips up into the air okay and for this one i do two sets of 10 for hip bridges just nice and slow up into the air and then back down and then up into the air and then back down and oh yeah i like to hold it on top when I come up for about one second. It's just perfect. It just gets a little extra stretch and a little extra strength as well through the hips when I come up and then just hold and then back down. And moving on to number seven for hip mobility are the fire hydrants. So you know dogs do their business on fire hydrants. This, is, this looks just like a dog doing his business. So you're lifting both legs up uh, into the air just like a dog would. And you hold, again, lift up, hold and back down, lift up, hold and back down and two sets of 10 okay for each side two sets of 10 oh this one compared to when i started doing this one my hip has really improved quite a bit uh this it, it doesn't hurt but it's actually pretty hard to do for me so i need to continue to focus on this one i don't know what it is with that range of motion but uh so this is fire hydrant two sets of 10 on both sides and hip mobility number eight. Oh, this is amazing this one is the range of motion because you're really starting to get into that running uh, form and running running motion are the donkey kicks okay so you're on the ground your knees are on the ground your hands are on the ground and just like a donkey would kick behind him you throw you I almost said throw you kick back kick your leg back and again we're not in a speed contest here slower is better so you kick back hold and back kick back hold and back and I'll do two sets of ten on both legs so that is called the donkey kick oh it feels it, this one is actually probably one of the easier ones to do but i think it's really really critical for improving your range of motion through those hip flexors onward and upward to hip mobility exercise number nine and there it is is the mountain climber so now we're getting a little more dynamic what do i mean by dynamic a little more range of motion a little more um explosiveness and over time with this mountain climber you can do it fast and it turns into a great workout i didn't do it fast for you today because i just wanted you to see it kind of in slow motion there on your screen right now the mountain climber i'll do two sets of 10 um, for each leg um, so 20 i guess it'd be 40 total and so you put your arms on the ground like you're in the push-up position your legs behind you and then you bring your knee up past your arm okay bring your knee up opposite side bring your knee up past your arm and it's in the air your foot is in the air it's not dragging on the ground both sides back and forth oh this one oh this is I, it's not my favorite one but i'm telling you the more i do this one the, the better i feel um, with respect to range of motion and it's a core workout at the same time because you will start to burn um, through your through your abdominal muscles and uh, yeah it, you'll just start to burn because it is a, a difficult one so that is called the mountain climber I'll do two sets of 10 but frankly you might just need to start with one set of 10 because it is a more difficult uh, dynamic hip mobility exercise okay number 10 here we go ah off the ground so i get off the ground i, I get off the ground because i want to after doing all this exercise and mobility on the uh, on the ground we runners are not running on the ground we're not laying down we are up in the air we're standing up nice and tall in our gait cycle in our running form so i like to do good mornings last it's almost it's a, it is hip mobility but it's also just kind of to stretch out everything that you did on the ground so you're just simply bending over and then coming back up trying to keeping your back and i need to work on this but trying to keep your back as straight as possible and again you don't want to use your 
You're trying not to use your lower back too much. You're trying to do all of the movement through the hips. And I'm, I'm still working on this as well, uh, but this is called the good mornings. And I'll just do one set of 20, just up. And it's a pretty easy one, but again, it's just to return the body to that up uh, position, that standing position, which is, is how we run as runners. There you go, improving running form through mobility. Now. I gotta stay on this. Remember what we talked about yesterday? Persistence is key. It's so key. So uh, I would recommend not doing all of those that I just mentioned, but pick out your favorites. And the key is that consistency. If we're consistent, we will begin to see our, our running form open up a little bit, become a little more nimble, a little more fluid through the, through the gait cycle and just like that knee drive to the next step and the next step and the next step because those hip flexors, oh, it's like there's a lot, there's so much. If you just look at the muscles and the tendons coupled with our bones in our hips, there is so much happening right through our hips. And again, as with everything, patience, it just takes time to work up and build up our range of motion. Okay, vlog's not done. I'm going inside to lace up, get rolling, and uh, get this running. Whoo, let's go. Oh, solid day. All right, everyone, here we go. It's about seven hours later since the last clip. Here's my little editing workstation. Decided not to set up in the studio tonight because I am way too tired. Ran 10 miles this morning, 13 miles this, uh, this afternoon, and now it's time for bed. Also, my neck, I had to get a prescription for a muscle relaxer because my neck was, had spasms yesterday. It was crazy. It feels much better now, but I think it's gonna be at least another like 24 hours before it's completely gone, maybe 36 hours, we shall see. Um, so anyway, we're just taking it easy tonight, signing off, and I hope those hip mobility exercises help a lot of you out there with your range of motion, which good, fluid, smooth range of motion uh, just helps so, so much for um, overall enjoyment of running. Like the smoother we can be, the less pounding we put on our knees, um, our feet, of course, but really our knees especially. So, all right, there you go. You all are the best. All right, we're going to toss it back on the right to uh, the vlog, a stretching vlog. And then on the left, we'll go to a core workout in the gym. All right, we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully feeling good. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.